Do you want to know if Binance Auto Invest really is one of the safest and easiest ways to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, or if there are other better ways to do that? Then this video is for you. My name is Michael, and if you watched any of my videos before, you know that I love earning different cryptocurrencies and also investing in them. And one option to do this is to use Binance Auto Invest, and that means that you can just automatically invest in Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. And it definitely has its advantages, but it also has some disadvantages. And in this video, I will explain both the pros and the cons and show exactly how it works, so then you can decide if it is the right option for you. And if it is, then you will also know exactly how to do it. Let's start by talking a bit about what Binance Auto Invest is, because it is where you can automatically invest in Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. And if you know anything about Bitcoin or watched any of my videos before, you'll know why I personally keep putting more money into Bitcoin and a few other cryptocurrencies, because it just has huge long term potential. So what you put in now can potentially become worth a lot more in the future. But how it then works with Binance is that you do not have to then do it manually whenever you want to. You can just set it up and then it will just do it automatically. I will go over the pros and cons of this later. Let's first talk about what it is and then I will also show how to set it up. But what it is, is that you can see if you go to the section right here, right now, these are the coins that Binance Auto Invest offers. They do add new options regularly, but for example, BNB is Binance own coin, one that has been great to invest in in the past, as you can see, and still is, and BTC, Ether, some of the biggest one. In general, it's some really popular cryptocurrencies that you can invest in inside Binance with auto invest. They have a lot of other coins. These are just the ones you can use for auto invest. And what it then does is that it shows a historical return of investment. So that means if I chosen three years. So if I over the last three years had set this up to invest, it can be daily or weekly or monthly, I'll show how to do that later, then I would have had a return of investment of more than 1500%. So that means that if I had put $1,000 in three years ago, spread over the three years as how it's set up, then I would have earned more than $16,000 now. And with Bitcoin, I would have put $1,000 in, then I would have earned around $2,800 if I had used this option. But this is just an example of the percentage. What's of course important to understand that this is historical. That does not mean that that would be in the future. It might be high, it might be low in the future. And right now, as of recording this video, the market is down a bit. So that will of course also affect it. that if I had recorded this like two months ago, these numbers would have been way higher. So that's how it is with crypto and a part of what you need to understand if you want to invest that it goes up and down and you need to stay calm and you need to just not panic if you understand how it works. But this is just to give you some examples. And this is because it uses what's called DCA or dollar cost averaging. So let's just also talk about what this is, because that's important to understand, because that's the basis of this auto invest. So I just pulled up a picture that illustrate what dollar cost averaging is. And there's a lot of different information you can find about that. This is just because it shows it very easily that you have the option where you can, for example, do what they call lump sum investment, where you just put all the money, or all what you want to invest in right away. And then, you know, you don't invest anything and the price might go up and down. And then you have a certain return after a certain period, or you can do monthly, and then you will buy both when the coin you buy is a little bit more expensive and when it's uh, less expensive and then you will get a different return. And statistically, some people say that this shows that over time that will be trying to guess when the market is down or when it's up because that can be very difficult and therefore to use this DCA, you kind of just do it automatically and you guess the best average price, which will give the best return at the end of the day. However, it's not always like that. I want to make that clear. It both has pros and cons, and I will go over that later. First, I want to show you how to set it up, where to find it inside Binance. Now you have a small understanding of how it works and what the idea behind it is. And then we'll talk about the pros and the cons you also need to understand and seriously consider before investing this way. Once you have logged into your Binance account, then you can go to the earn section. You can just click 
uh, Binance Earn, and then you will get to this option where you can choose auto invest or you can go to earn and you can just go directly to it down here. No, either way, you get to the same screen and that's where you can choose the different coins. So let's say I wanted to do an auto invest or set it up for Bitcoin. Then I would just click to create a plan. Then I have different options and you can see I can say my subscription amount. That means how much do I want to put in? For example, the minimum is 10 USDT. USDT is a stable coin. It's tied to the dollar. So it's basically $10. I could choose $10 to set it up daily, weekly, bi-weekly or monthly. I could also choose $100, $1,000. That's completely up to you what you feel comfortable with. I just want to make clear that I'm not a financial advisor. You need to also do your own research if you decide to invest in anything online, whether it's crypto or anything else. It is at your own risk. Crypto is a volatile market, so you do need to understand it and you do need to understand there is a risk. Just wanted to make that clear. But if you decide to set it up, this is how it works. You can do it daily, weekly, bi-weekly. You can choose how you want to pay. You can choose the different currencies you have. So to be able to do this, you, for example, would need to load your Binance account with USDT or BUSD, which is another stable coin. Right now, I do not have a lot of USDT because usually what I do is that I use the USDT I have available for trading. I have a video where I show how I use a trading bot to do that. I'll leave a link in the top corners. You can check that out if that's something you're interested in. But this could be another way. It's just different strategies. And I present different strategies for different people. And each of them have different benefits. And which ones are the best really depends on your personal preferences. But this is one way to do it. You just load your account with USDT and then it does this weekly, bi-weekly, monthly or daily, whatever you want. What I just want to make clear is that over here where you have these flexible savings balance. This is something that is worth being aware of because when you load your account with USDT, you can put them into flexible savings, meaning that you will earn interest inside Binance by doing that. So just by having them standing there, you will earn interest. And then you can take from your balance there, your flexible savings balance, meaning that you can just put your USDT in a savings account, you will earn interest and it will then take it from there because if you just have them standing you will not get interest on so that's a little extra thing that if you decide to do this this is definitely something i would recommend but once that's done you just need to confirm it and then it will start doing this here adding buying whenever you have told it to do and that's how easy it is to then create this and then you do not have to think about it anymore it's definitely a very easy way to invest in cryptocurrencies but as mentioned several times, there are both some pros and cons of doing it this way. So let's talk a bit more about that before you decide if this is the right option for you. So when it comes to the advantages and disadvantages, then in my opinion, one of the clear advantages of using auto invest or DCA when investing in crypto is that it takes out these emotions where you sometimes can get carried away or you can get very emotionally involved and you have to guess when the right time is because let's look at the price of Bitcoin. It has gone up and down and it will keep doing that. But if you look at it over like the period of the last 10 years, it has kept going up and up and then there are dips. It goes up and down. That's how it is. And it can be kind of stressful to try to to guess when is it now to buy or when is it down and all that and when you then just do this set it up you take all that out of it you do not have to guess you just keep putting in because you do it with a long-term plan you're not thinking what do i have in a few months you think what do i have in a year in two years five years and that's what in my opinion is the strength that's how you should think about it when it comes to bitcoin you should not think about it as quick profit here and now so if you do it like that, then you take all these emotions and guesswork out. And that's definitely one clear advantage of using this auto invest inside Binance. Another advantage is that you do not need to invest a big amount right away. If you have limited funds, you can just kind of spread it out and invest because maybe you say you do not have a lot of money, but you can spare, let's say $10 a week, or you can spare $100 a week or whatever it is because you want to get started with Bitcoin, but do not have a lot of money to put in, then instead of becoming emotional about every time you have to do it manually, then to set it up like this, you do not really have to think about it. We'll just do it automatically and slowly it will build up. That's another advantage of it. But it also has some disadvantages and it all comes down to you making a decision because sometimes, and there's no guarantee of that, it will give you a better return to just put in whatever you want to put in right away. And then you just wait long term and then you will have a better return. 
return. If I had put in a huge amount or let's say $10,000 three years ago, then I would have had a different return and sometimes that would be better than doing it like this. So which method really also depends on what type of money you have to put in now. And also if you know how emotionally affected you will get, if you know that you can just stay calm, then it does not really matter which method you use. But if you know that you get very like agitated or sit and stare at it all the time to find the right time to invest a bit, then this auto invest can help you to relieve some of that stress. But sometimes it will give you smaller return of investment if you use auto invest. And also what you need to be aware of is that every time you buy something, every time you do a trade on basically any platform, cryptocurrency exchange, a trading platform, there will be a small fee. It's usually a very very small fee so it's not something that will really affect you but of course if you invest ten dollars daily the fee that will be there every day you no know, maybe will add up so that's just something to be aware of also I want to say that if you join through an invitation link on Binance you can get a 10% discount on any fees for life I'll leave a link below so you can join through my invitation link if you decide that because then you can give a small discount there but in general the fees are not something to worry about if again you think long term because then it will not really affect it too much and of course they do need to make money so they will charge fees for that that is how it is on basically all exchanges but that's kind of the sum up of the pros and the cons and you need to consider both before deciding which option is for you so overall to sum it all up binance auto invest can definitely be a very easy way to invest in Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. And it's very safe because Binance is one of the most reputable crypto trading platforms or crypto exchanges. You just need to be aware that there's no guarantee that what the return on the investment has been the last two years, the last year will be the same in the future. It might be a lot higher, it might be lower. There's no guarantee of that. Also, and sometimes it just gives a better return of investment to just put in whatever money you have, you want to invest when you have it. Other times it can give a better return of investment to do it with auto invest. And which option is the best really depends on what your personal preferences are. Personally, I do not use the auto invest right now because when I have money, I love using for example, free ways to make some extra cryptocurrencies online. I have a video where I show a lot of different ways to earn Bitcoin for free and you earn a little bit there. I leave a link in the top corner. And whenever I take money out there, I for example, take it into Binance or other different platforms that I have cryptocurrencies in. and. It's kind of a DJ, you can say, because I take money out there weekly or monthly, so I kind of keep getting it in there, but that's one way of doing it. And when I have a bigger amount I want to invest, for example, to use it for trading or invest it so I get high interest on it or something like that, then I usually just do it in what's called lump sum and just do it all at once because that's just what I personally prefer because I just find that easier and then it's kind of done. But of course, sometimes that means that I do risk putting in investments there when the market is up and then it can go down a little bit. But again, what I do is I think long term, I'm not thinking about how my portfolio looks in a month or two months or three months. I'm thinking about building it up for the long term, how it looks in three years, five years. That's my personal opinion and how I personally do it. But I want to make it clear once again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing my experiences, my opinions, and any investment you decide to do online is at your own risk. But no matter what, I hope this video helped you figure out how Auto Invest works on Binance and if it is the right opportunity for you or not. And if you're not yet a member, you can use my joining link below and you can get a 10% discount on all fees in there, all trading fees for life. So you're welcome to use that if you're not already a member. But no matter what, I hope the video helped you. And if it did, then make sure to hit the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time. I see a video with tips and tricks about different ways to make some extra money on the side online.